Hello everyone and welcome to today's sessions and today we will learn multi-threading programming in Java. So if you check this picture, so here you can see this guy is basically working on his computer and doing some code and parallelly listening some music, right? So doing or performing multiple tasks at the same time in parallel is nothing but multi-taxing. And in system terminology, it is actually called multi-threading. And today we will learn multi-threading concept in Java. Now, if you already, you know, see this class diagram, so that type of class diagram we already did, number of program we did, right? And if you check here, basically this class has a beginning here, okay? Then it has a body and finally it has a end, right? So this type of class, where it has a beginning a body and end and the code basically you know uh, execute in sequential order so these type of things we already learn like our main method class right and this type of class is nothing called a single thread program okay so whatever the main method class we created all are basically something like a single threaded program but today our aim is to learn multi threaded program in java right now if you check this diagram here this is our main thread and from this thread we are actually initiating thread a thread b and thread c so once initiated by this main thread then this thread a thread b and thread c run concurrently and share the resource jointly okay so this diagram actually you can see here we have four thread main thread then thread a thread b thread c so this is a multi threading concept here so let's understand how we can create a thread in java okay so there are two concept to create a thread in java first we can extend the thread class thread is a inbuilt class so we can create a class and then extend that thread class so this is one concept another concept is there is a runnable interface and we can create a class and as it's a interface we can implement that interface and we can create you know threads okay now these two concept for both these two concept there is a method called run this is the heart and soul of the thread so we have to define this run method and under that we can create our body okay so you can see here we can create thread in two way by extending thread class or by implementing runnable interface and both that case we have to you know define this run method so let's check first how we can create a thread by extending that thread class then we will try to create another thread by implementing the runnable interface and both the things we will try to understand by creating some program in eclipse so let's jump into eclipse now in my eclipse you can see that i have created a thread demo class under com.demo.thread package so this is my package and under that i have created a thread demo class and it is uh, basically a main method of this class so this is nothing but a simple class with main method okay now let's check how we can create thread so first we will create based on our that screen diagram we will create three threads here okay and all these threads should be created by extending thread class so let's check that one so let me double click it here so let's create a class you can see that this is my test demo here it's start and here it's end after that i am creating a class thread class and how we can create that one definitely we have to extend so we will actually using the fast approach so we will extend which class that is basically thread class now this is our thread a okay so similar way you can create thread b and c so first create two other thread let's say this is thread b instead of a it's b and similar way you can create another thread let's say c okay so this is my three thread class thread a thread b and thread c all are basically extend the thread class okay now what i said 
that the heart and soul of any thread is run method so we have to now define this run method for each of these threads so first we have to create the run method so let's create the run method and then the syntax is public void run so we have to create this run method for all these threads so this is our first thread let's say this is our second thread and similar way for the third thread you can also create the run method let you control shift o and f okay and then it will be indented and you can see the exact formatting okay so what i did i actually create three thread class abc by extending the thread class and i have used the run method here okay now let's do some logic okay so what logic let's create a iteration and under that iterations we will simply print some message okay so let's say for thread a this run method let's create a for loop i is equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus and here a simple you know print statement where it says i am in thread a okay and my iterations is whatever the iterations i will get for each time okay so plus i now same thing we can do for the other two run methods so let's say here instead of making its thread a it definitely thread b so our statement is i am in thread b and the iterations or this iterations is let's say plus i plus i is nothing but this iterations okay same thing let's create for you know run method under thread c under thread c run method let's create the same iterations logic and instead of thread a make it thread c okay so now you can see that all the three thread is created thread a thread b and thread c and all the thread is created by extending the thread class and we also create the run method in each you know class because this is basically heart and soul of thread and under each run method we basically create a iterations logic and for each iterations we are simply printing some message okay now our thread is ready now we have to initiate that one right and from where we initiate from the main method we will try to initiate all these thread so how we can initiate this so first we have to create the instance of all threads so let's say for thread a we can create an instance name let's say a is equal to new and the constructor okay so that i we already know means how to create an instance of any class so this is nothing but a class so we have created the instance of this similar way we can create the instance of b and instance of c so let me make it b thread b constructor is also thread b similar way this is basically thread c and constructor is thread c this is nothing but simply creating the instance let make the instance name of thread b is b and thread c is c so you can see this is the simple thing we i have just you know initiate or create an instance of all these class that is thread a thread b and thread c now how we can start or initiate that thread so the syntax is we will use each instance so first instance is a so simply use a dot start method so there is a start method you have to use this similarly to instance yet or instance create a start instance of the b thread so we have to use b instance then again a start method similarly for c the same thing c dot start method okay so now our main class or the main thread is ready with this main method and from this main method we are actually initiating all these three thread and for each thread you can see we have some run method and under that run method we have created a logic that for five time it will print this type of message and how we can track that one for each statement we write the thread name this is thread a this is thread b and the last one is nothing but thread c right so let me double click it here and try to run this and now you can understand how it is basically sharing the resource okay 
so let me run it first so you have to run multiple time to check the proper result so first time i am trying to run this one so let's check the first run okay so if you check my first run so first time you can see though i have initiated first time a start okay but it is going to the b first so it will go to this b class or b thread print the first iterations okay then it will again jump to the a class that's why i am getting i am in thread a and here you can see a coming here one two three four five so all the a is coming here first okay so zero one two three four five okay because we have created zero to less than equal to five so that's means six time a is coming here now it initiate the c part okay so that's why it's coming c then again it's come to the b previously it started with b where iteration is zero then it's come here and here iterations is one then again it's come to the c thread so here it says that thread c so previously in thread c this is iteration zero and here you can see in thread c iterations is one now it again come to the thread b then thread c two time then again thread b then again thread c two time and then thread b two time okay now if i run it again so its sequence again got changed so let me run it again now if you see here the second run so here you can see previously it was started from b right now it started from a then started from b then again two time a then c then again two not two three time a then it's come like one two three four five time b then finally it's go to the c thread and execute all the rest of the iterations of the c so every time when you run this program it will you know give you different result because the resource is basically sharing okay and they are using jointly that share okay so sometime the thread a will be you know execute first sometime uh, you know b will be execute first so it's totally depends you cannot you know handle that one so each time you run you will get different different result that's mean when from the main thread we are actually you know initiate all these three threads so from this main method we are actually initiating all these three thread thread a thread b and thread c and they run concurrently and share the resource jointly so you can see the concept and this concept is nothing but multi-threading there is no a single flow of a single class here we have you know three class thread a thread b thread c and to create this thread we are using the first approach that is nothing but extending the thread class and defining their run method so this concept is nothing but multi-threading in java so hope you understand the first concept how we can create by extending a thread class okay now in our next sessions we will try to understand how we can create a thread using the second approach that is nothing but implementing the runnable interface i believe this video has helped you to understand about the topic thank you for watching Please do subscribe, click on the bell notifications and select all so that you don't miss any video from this channel.